Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have m plus n equals to 100 and m n equals to also 100. Uh, so we solve this problem for the values of m and n. So here the very first step we are going to do is first we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. So first we focus on equation number one and from equation number one we have uh, we need to move this m to the right hand side and we get the value of n uh, is equals to 100 minus m and we call this is our equation number three. So here uh, we use this equation number three in equation number two and we easily get the values of m and n. Uh, so here first we substitute this value here so that equation number 2 uh, is implies that uh, this is m times of n and we have the value of n is uh, this one it is 100 minus m and it is equals to also 100 okay so in the next step uh, we need to simplification here so first we multiply this m on both of these terms and it will be written as 100 m minus m square m multiplied by m equals to m square and it is equals to 100 so you see that this is quadratic equation but not into the standard form so now we convert this into the standard form by moving the terms in the left hand side to the right hand side so this is minus m square when we move in the right hand side it will become plus m square this is plus 100 m becomes minus 100 m and in the right hand side we have already plus 100 and this is equals to 0 so this will become quadratic in m variable and now here we use the quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation so first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 100 and c is equals to plus 100 so uh, we uh, use the quadratic formula here and you know about quadratic formula is stated as minus p plus minus square root of uh, b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute the above values of a b and c in this formula and it will be written as m equals this is minus b the value of b is minus 100 and plus minus square root of b square so the value of b is minus 100 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 100 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is also 1 so in the next step here we need more simplifications and we have m equals this is minus times of minus becomes plus 100 and plus minus now here we know that the square of minus is become plus and the square of 100 is equals to 1 and 4 zeros and this 4 times of 100 equals to minus 400 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to so here uh, we need more simplifications and we write it as 100 plus minus so when you subtract this 10,000 by 400 uh, then we will get here 9,600 and it is uh, divided by 2 so here uh, we rewrite this uh, equation as in this form this is 100 and plus minus uh, we write this uh, 9600 as in this form uh, this is uh, 1600 multiplied by 6 we know that 16 times of 6 equals to 96 and this is 9600 uh, so we write our above uh, equation as in this form and it is divided by 2 so after this step here uh, we just break this square root sign and we write it as m equals to 100 plus minus uh, we write it as a square root of 1600 into square root of 6 and it is divided by 2 uh, so in the next step here we will apply uh, 
uh, the square root uh, formula on the six, uh, 1600 and we write it as m equals to 100 plus minus we know that the square root of 1600 equals to 40 into square root of 6 and now we can just break this fraction and we write these two separately on both of these terms so further we have m equals to these are cancelled by each other 2 5 is a 10 and 0 here you have 2 2 is a 4 and 0 so we obtain 50 and plus minus 20 into square root of 6 so these are the two values of m so now here for corresponding these two values of m we need to find the values of n so first we write these two into the separate form so here we write the positive value it is 50 plus 20 into square root of 6 and the negative value is m equals to 50 minus 20 into square root of 6 so here we need to copy down our equation number 3 here so that equation number 3 is implies that n equals to 100 minus m so now we substitute above both values of m here and we get the corresponding values of n and so first we have n is equals to 100 minus m the value of m in this case is 50 plus 20 into square root of 6 so here we multiply this negative sign on both of these terms it will become 100 minus 50 minus 20 into square root of 6 uh, so here we uh, know that 100 minus 50 equals to 50 minus 20 into square root of 6 so this is the value of uh, n corresponding to the value of m is this one Similarly, we move, we move towards the second case. So here we substitute this value of m here and we get the value of n. So in this case, we have n equals to uh, this is 100 minus m. The value of m is 50 minus 20 into square root of 6. So here we multiply this negative sign on both of these terms. It will be written as 100 minus 50 plus 20 into square root of 6 so 100 minus 50 equals to 50 plus 20 into square root of 6 so this is the value of n corresponding to the value of m is this one okay so finally we have uh, the two roots of the uh, given equation r m n equals to uh, here first we write the first root and our first root is the value of m is 50 plus 20 into square root of 6 and corresponding value of n is 50 minus 20 into square root of 6 this is the first solution similarly the second solution is 50 minus 20 into square root of 6 and 50 plus 20 into square root of 6 so this is the second solution of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos